What's up, guys? It's your boy, Alo. We're back with another banger, guys. Today, we're doing the orb tier list. Now, this orb tier list is a lot different than my one in the past, so I definitely recommend you check out all the tiers. Also, guys, before we get into it, let me make sure you guys like and subscribe. We're on the road to 100k. And also, shout out to the guy in the background. He hooked me up with a uh, Alo Eisen slash Hog Eisen. Really appreciate you, man. Uh, big shout outs to you. So, starting off, guys, in the D tier, we got the Beast M Scaling Orb. Now, this is Minotaur's Orb and Golden Frieza Orb. I don't, they're not really ranked like neither one's better than the other they're just both bad now golden frieza and i believe minato as well got an extra upgrade at the end but just not enough damage to make it worth it um golden frieza went from like what 7k max to 10k max but unfortunately it doesn't cut it uh minato's is just not good at all i think has a super high sp at the start with a terrible range they really should have given him a range buff at the start i feel like that would have made him a little bit more worth it uh moving on guys to the c tier these orbs are decent to get if you have the units so first off guys we have um uh the mihawk orb now the mihawk orb is really good uh the reason i put out the c is because mihawk is basically being given away for free you can get him or the wild west variant so that's why and it's really good for infinite mode help you out a lot and not not terrible for damage farming but if you're like stuck in a hard place uh, maybe you could use it to damage farm a little bit or if you need to get exp units he's pretty convenient especially if you pick a map that has long paths like the food map also works as well or even just long maps really decent spa overall next up guys we have the path orb now the path orb is for nagato um nagato is a pretty decent unit with this orb definitely really good for like early story modes um and it has higher dps at the end than golden frieza however the range is kind of lackluster but it is a hybrid unit at the end so pretty good Next up, guys, we have the Venom Orb. Now, I could put the Venom Orb up higher. I just don't feel like the Venom Orb is worth it. Because you might as well just rock with, like, Shinra or one of the new burn units instead. Or Todoroki, actually. Like, there's almost no point in this in Venom at all. He might help you out a tiny bit in Challenge 2. But Challenge 2 gives you the most dog water unit of all time. So that's why I'm putting Venom Orb in C tier. There's just no point. He's not a terrible unit, but like all the units above it, is, or all the orbs are above it, slash units, I guess, to go with above it, or just way better. Next up, guys, we have the Lightning Breath Orb. Now, it can kind of help you out in Challenge 1, and Challenge 1 is important because the Fire Rage Orb makes a lot of things a lot easier. Um, however, um, it's, it's kind of, I think it's impossible to solo this without, um, rank, I mean, it's possible to solo out Rengoku, but like, you can also, you, you kind of need Kakashi if you're doing that. And, like, if you have Kakashi, you can do it with, like, what is it? I, heard, I saw somebody did it with um, uh, Broccoli 4-star. Like, you don't need to release your gems on a 5-star, then. Next up, guys, we have the Trunks Orb. Honestly, the Trunks Orb is pretty solid overall. Definitely a great story uh, mode orb. However, it doesn't hit airs, and that's kind of a big limitation. And it's just not good for infinite mode. And I feel like a lot of people play this game just for infinite mode. Uh, you might be able to like, use it in like earlier trials or even like maybe maybe get away with a uh, raid one extreme with it but just not that great overall next up guys we have the snow orb with rukia now the reason i'm ranking this one lower than i used to is because todoroki exists now todoroki kind of made rukia obsolete because now you have burn freeze and more damage overall and a higher a and a longer aoe and the same cooldown like todoroki is just the better version of rukia except for the first few upgrades you have burn instead of freeze so i really just don't see rukia being a viable unit anymore um with with todoroki coming out also rukia five star got an extra upgrade but not rukia six star so i don't really know what the heck was up with that so that's why rukia orb is there in the c tier next up guys we have the quake orb which is just slightly worse than rukia because it doesn't have the freeze effect however it does have an ability which i think you can use to hit airs which is kind of convenient so putting him there uh, last in this list is the Majin Buu Orb, which is actually pretty solid overall. Probably should have ranked it maybe a little bit higher, higher in C tier. But uh, it's a decent orb overall, but there's just no point in using it because they're just better units that do his job. Like, you might as well rock with Geno's 5 star. Like, oh, there's almost no point in getting Buu anymore. They're just better units out there. So why waste your gems on the orb when you could get two units instead? Like, it's just not worth it. Now, if you already have Buu, maybe you go for it. Uh, next up, guys, we have the Bomb Orb. Now, the Bomb Orb is pretty a pretty solid orb. I like to use it because it's good on Erwin. However, it is optional, but it is kind of required for Erwin if you want to do the two-stack buff. So I'm putting it at the top of B tier. 
I'm not really willing to put it in A tier or S tier because it's technically not required. However, it makes life a lot easier. Next up, guys, we have the Rosé Orb. Now, I'm putting this up there because it's pretty convenient to for, I think, most trials. I think somebody soloed Trial 2 with it, so it's really good for that. And it has better damage than uh, Golden Frieza does, and a better AoE because it's um, it's like a cone AoE instead of the tiny circle AoE. And it's a giant cone AoE as well. Um, so if you combine it with like Merlin or something, you can go pretty far. Next up, guys, we have the Broly Orb. Now, the Broly Orb is kind of nice. However, it's just not, it just doesn't make Broly good enough. It makes Broly a solid unit. You could probably reach wave 50 or 60 with it. But it just doesn't make Broly good enough compared to the newer units. But uh, B tier for Broly, you know, B Broly, same thing. Next up, guys, we have the Limitation Orb. Now, the Limitation Orb is for Adult Gone. And honestly, I think the max damage goes up to like 200,000 or something. So, like, it's a decent, like, minor damage farm orb. You can definitely pull off enough gems to get a better, better situation uh, with it. So next up, guys, we have the Ace Orb slash Mera Orb. Now, Ace is fairly easy to get. Uh, however, it's not in the banner anymore. You can trade for it. And Ace did get a buff. So that's why I'm keeping it in the B tier. However, there's just better burn units like Sabo out there that uh, unless you need it for Trial 3, it's just not good. But I mean, you combine the Mera Orb and the Rosé Orb and you're pretty much good to go. Next up in the A tier, guys, we first off, we have the good. Now, these ones aren't really in particular or any order. Uh, we have the uh, A tier. For first is Gogeta's Orb. Gogeta's pretty uh, pretty good, especially if you use it with Vegito. And it's really cheap and good for Trial 3. I think it's the best Trial 3 unit in my opinion. Um, and you could probably even get away with it in Infinite Mode. I remember it used to be the meta back in the day. Vegito was also pretty good. However, the Vegito Orb is so expensive and like there's just better value out there. Especially, like, you might as well, guys, if you're getting the Vegeta Orb, you might as well just get the Moon Orb. Like, the price difference isn't that much different. And you need a 4 star instead of, I guess you don't really need it. I guess you could get instead of 2, 3 stars or whatever. So, it's like, whatever. And plus, the Moon Orb is just going to give you more damage overall. So, the Moon Orb is just a better orb. Like, again, again I said, like, these, these A tiers are really ranked based on how good they are, like, within the tier. They're all about this. They're all relative. Um, next up, guys, we have the Moon Orb, which is OP for Monkey, guys. Straight busted. You gotta get it. Next up, guys, we have the Luffy Orb. Luffy Orb might still be meta. However, it's really good for story mode. Like, it's it's meta story mode. Best DPS for the dollar. Definitely recommend. The only thing that might be better, at, and it hits airs. So, that's really convenient. It's a great high DPS unit that also hits airs. Next up, guys, we have the Pink Star Orb. I'm putting this up in the A tier because Giorno is pretty much required for leaderboard. And, like, this orb, like, really makes Giorno a good unit for story mode as well. So now not only is he required for leaderboard, but he's great for story mode. And honestly, I'm pretty sure he'd also be good for raid mode, challenge modes, even maybe, like, you could definitely use him in dungeon mode as well. Uh, next up, guys, in the S tier, we have the units that I'm pretty sure you need for leaderboard. All of these you would have equipped if you're going for a leaderboard run. Uh, first up, we have the Blue Eye Orb. Blue Eye Orb is great because it, it just gives a unit free range. And so you can equip it like Naruto or any Merlin or just somebody. It just gives it a little bit extra range. Really great with units with like a cone AoE. but uh, Or if you just need that extra bit to hit a little, like, little corner of the map. Great for that. And then we have the Death Orb, which is part of Zero Pain's leaderboard meta strategy. Basically, it makes uh, Light Yagami busted. And also, since there's now Light Yagami 6 star, you can get 50 billion damage. You can basically max out your damage task in one bit in one uh, one try. I know F- did a video on that. Next up, guys, we have the Cost Orb. I'm putting it the S tier because it, it allows you to max out Bulma and stuff sooner, which gives you a big edge. Especially if you're trying to max out as many Light Yagamis or as many Naruto's as you can. And lastly, guys, we have the Ichigo Orb, which allows you to slow down airs, which is pretty busted and required for leaderboard. So there you go, guys. There's the Orb tier list. Let me know if you guys liked it. Uh, make sure you guys drop a comment and subscribe. And once again, thank you so much to the guy in the background for hooking me up with Hawk Eisen. Really appreciate it. And I'll catch you all in the next one, guys. Blam Spot out, yo. Peace.